you doing today? I'm going to teach you how to use iMovie and this is what the app looks like. It's got blue and purple underneath and it's got a star in the middle. So if you click that, it'll take you to the home screen. And it says tap plus to make a new movie or trailer. So if you click this plus button in the top corner next to this box and press movie it'll take you to loads of different options and if you want to see what they look like you press the play button underneath the movie or trailer so if you click that it will show you that and it's got like text at the bottom and, and change the music so on there so today we're going to do that one if you press create the there and it will take you to this home screen then if you want video press photos and I already had I already downloaded two photos so if you click one of them put that in for you then if you tap it then you got these two yellow thick bars in each side so if you click if you hold one you can make it bigger and smaller and longer so I'm going to do that one, and if you tap the screen somewhere, it'll do that for you. Then if you click another photo, it'll add another photo for you. And if you want, you can make it the same length. So if you just do it the same as last time, and as you can notice, if you press audio at the top next to photos, and press sound effects for loads of different sound effects so now if I click door clothes and you got how many seconds there are and two buttons so if you click the play button it sounds like a door is closing and if you click that one it puts that in for you then when you play from the beginning it goes up to here when it's just gonna start playing then if you want to change the color of that so if you click on one of the photos and click the three like dark and really light circles you got loads of different options so as you can notice if I click blast it'll go all like dark on the edges and like nice color in the middle but if I click this one so second before last it takes you to that kind of theme and it looks really nice if you had like something like blue or something if it's none it doesn't look as good so if you click one of these i'm gonna go with blast it'll keep as that and it won't do on this one if you click it and if you didn't know last you can just do it again as the same one and if you click the tear t next to that for different texts so if I click gravity wait for a second then you got center or lower so if I click lower it'll take you down to that a little bit so if you click it you can type in it and if you click the like tag with the X and it will delete all right the then then a keyboard will come up then you can put what it is I put a cat so if you click the big blue rectangle it says done in the middle click that it'll do that for you and you only do it on that photo then when you play it from the start, it'll fall in for you. So like as you play it, when you're already done and play it, it will fall in. It'll keep playing it until it gets onto the next photo. And you got these two triangles and it'll change it to the next photo for you. And if we listen, if we go in the door close in a minute, it'll do that sound for you. It'll do that sound, then when it's finished, you'll go at the end. So if you go out to sound effects, click theme music, 
you can put like a theme music in there. See now I want neon and click the play button. Go that theme. Because I don't want that theme. I want like this one. I want that one. So if we click it, we got that doorbell. We got that door closed. So we need to make it shorter than we actually need it because we got the door closed. Then if you click on simple. Then, if you notice these one, it says split, foreground, duplicate, and delete. If you click, do it'll take you to that one. So if you click that one, duplicate, it'll take you to this one. So if you click that and press delete, it'll delete that. And if we click this and we click the little clock, you go really fast or really slow. So if I put it there and um, play that's what it sounds like but if i put it really fast a few bits below grab the white dot and pull it so if i click it it sounds very weird but if you put it in the middle maybe there as you can notice it'll do that kind of one but when you want slow or fat, it'll come up with like a little picture of the animal. So now it's a turtle because it's near the turtle. So if we put in a bunny, it'll go as a bunny. So we'll put it over there. It'll do as a normal sound for you. And if you click this one, you can make it loud. and Like really loud or not loud. But it'll stay at 67. Then if you click fade... It'll do fade for you. So that's what all the sound is about. If we click the door close and click the sound, it does the same. And if you click add, if you click it and click reset, so like if you add something to it, if you made it louder or shorter so you now if i put over there if i press reset it'll take you back to the same noise but if i had it over there and put on there and these two fit or fade or trim so it says trim but it doesn't do the same as the clock on the sound but if we click this one you go background duplicate or delete if you click background it does is from the simple music it stops at the end and it goes into the like simple line simple music line and if you click it and press delete it'll delete this yeah and if you want you can make the pictures the same type of length as the song feel and you don't have to worry about that then you can add as many photos you will like. So I go another photo, click it, click the three dots and click blast. Then if you noticed it's not long enough to finish it. So when we click when we click on it, it'll come to like, like two thick bars on each end. If we touch them and drag them all the way over there, it'll do the same length as it. So if you want to save it, you click the arrow in the top corner and it'll take you to this front cover, then you've got loads of different options. So if you click my movie and just use the same one as last time, you can name it as what it is. So if I put cat and press done, it'll name it as Afia. Then if you want, you can play it full screen if you click that button. So we're going to do that, on one button, click that one, it will play from the beginning to the end for you, and it will tell you how long it is in the top corner by there, as you notice, when it finishes it will tell you by there how long it was.
and if you click done, we'll stop the f one field. You can talk and stop the video, then, and it'll do the date when it's done and how long it is. And if you click that one, you can edit it. That's to upload and that's to delete. If you click the same arrow, it will automatically save you. So next, now I'm gonna do a trailer for you. Bye.